Welcome to the Bio Whisper channel, and the topic today is on superbugs. We will be looking at why it is a growing concern as a perspective overview. Here is part one where we will start with an introduction. Antimicrobial resistance termed as AMR is a global health and development threat. WHO has declared that AMR is one of the top 10 global public health threats facing humanity. One of the attributing factors is the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials, which are the main drivers in the development of drug-resistant pathogens. In parts of the world, the developing countries faced issues regarding the lack of clean water and sanitation, as well as inadequate infection prevention and control, which in turn promotes the spread of microbes. Notably, some of these microbes can gain resistance to antimicrobial treatment with time. Based on one of the reviews, reported by NBC News, it is projected that by the year 2050, superbugs could kill 10 million people a year. As such, it is to be expected that the cost of AMR to the economy is significant. In addition to death and disability, prolonged illness results in longer hospital stays, the need for more expensive medicines and financial challenges for those impacted. Without effective antimicrobials, the Success of modern medicine in treating infections, including during major surgery and cancer chemotherapy, would be at increased risk. Antimicrobial resistance occurs naturally over time, usually through genetic changes. Given these challenges and that we are running out of time, we next ask what accelerates the emergence and spread of antimicrobial resistance. To understand this, Ongoing studies have revealed some of the main drivers of antimicrobial resistance include the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials, as well as the lack of access to clean water and sanitation. Moreover, coupled with poor infection and disease prevention and control in healthcare facilities and also having poor access to quality, affordable medicines, vaccines, and diagnostics, the situation remains challenging at best. Given the fact that antimicrobial-resistant organisms are found in people, animals, food, plants, and the environment, in water, soil and air, they can spread from person to person or between people and animals, including from food of animal origin. We will next move on to discuss about antimicrobials in the next segment. What are antimicrobials? Antimicrobials are medication or therapeutics which includes antibiotics antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitics. These are medication used to prevent and treat infections in humans, animals, and plants. Given that antimicrobial resistance remains a global threat, no one person or organization can fix the AMR problem on their own. From pharmaceutical companies to healthcare organizations and policymakers to the general public, we all have a responsibility to protect the future of antibiotics. Shown here is a screen grab from WHO Twitter page highlighting the need for better diagnostic tests and raising the awareness of antibiotic resistance within the agricultural sector. In this screen grab from the World Antimicrobial Awareness, the world aims to increase awareness of global antimicrobial resistance and to encourage best practices among the general public and health workers to stop the further emergence and spread of drug-resistant infections. Shown on the screen are the four major classes of antimicrobials which include antibiotics, a class of antibacterials. Other classes include antivirals, antiparasitic agents, as well as antifungal. Antimicrobials can be built into almost any product or surface to continuously inhibit the growth of bacteria, mold and mildew. Antibiotics are administered as medicine for consumption by humans and animals only. Do note that antibiotics only have efficacy against bacteria. Anti-parasitics target parasites and the more prominent example includes drugs for malaria. Lastly, antifungals medication can be used to target yeast infections including ringworm and tinea. In terms of antimicrobial technology, let's run through what's in the works. Research communities have focused on using nanotechnology-derived antimicrobials including improved methods of delivery such as hydrogels, micellar and liposomal delivery of the therapeutics packed within these delivery vehicles. 
Nanotechnology-derived antimicrobial delivery can be broadly split into conjugated systems or loaded systems. More recently, there's increased interest in targeting polymers including resin acid-derived cationic compounds and polymers were investigated against a range of pathogenic and non-pathogenic microorganisms. Moving on to part 3, we will provide a perspective on the global concern of drug resistance. Based on what is announced, the US Biden administration has announced that it would allocate the large sum about 2 billion US dollars from the American Rescue Plan to support infection prevention and efforts to combat antimicrobial resistance. The allocated funds will go towards strengthening antimicrobials resistance infrastructure, including expanding antibiotic resistance laboratory testing. From the word cloud we can see resistance, antibiotics and understanding the mechanisms of how we can better approach this problem as key to combating the superbug issue. At present, AMR is a complex problem and is a global health crisis. WHO has organized an awareness campaign in Africa to increase outreach and education. At present drug resistance is observed across all the broad microbes from bacteria to virus to fungi. More can be done for sure. Attention has been directed towards urinary tract infections, sepsis, sexually transmitted infections, where high rates of resistance against antibiotics frequently used to treat these infections have been observed worldwide, indicating that we are running out of effective antibiotics. Widespread resistance in highly variable strains of N, gonorrhea, has compromised the management and control of gonorrhea. Resistance has rapidly emerged to sulfonamides, penicillins, tetracyclines which further aggravate the urgency. Antibiotic-resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis strains, which are rifampicin-resistant TB, have been identified globally whilst anti-TB. Medication including combinatorial cocktails have been used, the emergence of resistance to new. Last resort TB drugs to treat drug-resistant TB poses a major threat. Increasing levels of antiviral drug resistance is an increasing concern in immunocompromised patient populations in parts of the world including Africa, where ongoing viral replication and prolonged drug exposure lead to the selection of resistant strains. There is a worry that sooner or later, the current best-in-line antiretroviral drugs, including newer classes, will be at risk of becoming partly or fully inactive. On the malaria front, Artemisinin-based combination therapies are the recommended first-line treatment. With reports published showing emergence of mutations linked to partial artemisinin resistance, it could pose a major public health challenge and lead to a setback in malaria control. Many fungal infections have existing treatability issues. Drug-resistant Candida auris, one of the most common invasive fungal infections with increasing resistance reported to fluconazole, amphotericin B and voriconazole. What it means going forward will be that it's more difficult to treat fungal infections, treatment failures including longer hospital stays. Taken together, the strain and burden on the healthcare system including economic implications and costs are expected to climb. Antimicrobial resistance constitutes a complex and transboundary global health crisis estimated to be responsible for 700,000 deaths worldwide annually. In fact, the ongoing coronavirus pandemic since 2019 is making antimicrobial resistance worse. Where possible, we have seen areas for national and transnational cooperation includes improving awareness and understanding of antimicrobial resistance through effective communication education, and training. This is important because we can strengthen the knowledge and evidence base through surveillance and research. Within the existing healthcare facilities, we can optimize the use of antimicrobial medicines in human and animal health, where coupled with the reduction of infection incidents through effective infection control, sanitation, and observation of hygiene practices. Finally, we can develop an economic case for R&D investment in AMR research due to its costs for lives lost. Improving awareness, as well as investment in new diagnostic tools, approaches or interventions would allow a better positioning of therapeutics towards provision of new novel life-saving medication. Thank you for watching this video.
If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.